you're doing any type of framing, it's a good reminder to make sure that you carry all of your point loads down to your bearing, which would be your foundation wall. And you might say, well, what is a point load? Well, a point load would be anywhere that you have like a beam or some type of girder truss that is picking up a lot of weight. So like a girder truss might pick up the weight of like four or five trusses and transfer them to two points, right? One end and the other end. Same is true for a beam. So if you have a big beam and it's carrying a floor or something like that, you want to make sure that that bearing, that post is carried all the way down to bearing. So I'm in here, I'm actually doing a plumbing inspection, but I noticed um, good practice as far as carrying down the bearing on some point loads for a girder truss. And I just want to show everybody so you kind of have an idea what I'm talking about. And when you're out there doing your project, if you've got beams, I mean, obviously you're going to put posts under them, um, but make sure they carry all the way down to the foundation. So if you hit the floor and then you just have a rim board, you might go and block underneath that post and just make sure it carries all the way down. Uh, same is true for girder trusses. Uh, a lot of times they'll just sit on walls and you'll just have your sta standard stud framed wall. Um, but people won't actually go in and add some bearing right underneath that girder truss. So here, let's take a quick look at what I'm talking about. When you're out there, this might help you out and just you know, make your project a little bit better, make it cleaner, make it safer and something to think about. Okay, so here I'm in this house and we can see right over here, I have this girder truss right here. It's picking up, you know, half the load for these big trusses that carry all the way across. And then this girder truss is carrying it and carrying the load over to the wall. So right here, you can see they've added two studs directly underneath that girder truss. And that is just good practice. Um, it depends on what your truss specs tell you, whether or not you're required to do it or not, uh, but good practice, right? There's a lot of weight that's transferred over and is bearing right there and it's carried all the way down. And so you'd wanna make sure that that actually carries down to the floor below and all the way down to the foundation, right? You're transferring that load all the way down. So if we look back over here, you can see how far it follows over and they've done the same thing. They've carried it all the way down. So downstairs should carry all the way down as well. This has been with Building Code Tips. You know, hit the like button if this helped you out. I appreciate the support and uh, by all means subscribe. I've got all kinds of more videos that are out there just for you do-it-yourselfers and you homeowners working on your own projects.